going into this season and what we think went into every season is we want to write our own story. And last year's story is a great reference. It's a good template for what it looks like um, for things that go into success. But we want to write our own story and we want to be in a mentality of, and it's the way we play on the court too, of attacking. And um, that our team has really resonated with that way. You know, the trick to seniors to me is, are the kids that want to be there? Are they bought in? Are they mission-based? And all the other stuff is a bonus. Um, what we graduated from our senior class, they were excellent. Um, not only on the court, but consistency, maturity, leadership, and, and those things are really important uh, going into a season. So this season, our, our three seniors have had a lot of experience and a lot of success on the court. And then our hope is for them to continue with things like maturity and consistency and leadership and confidence. And, and so far, they've all done they've done that really well. We have a freshman Maddie Blyer, who is a point guard combo guard out of North Canton Hoover, dynamic playmaker. I mean, really can handle the ball and create and, and make plays for other people. Carly Peru from Perry High School out of Massillon, Ohio. She is a four, tough, physical, rebounds, competes, good passer. And then we have a transfer, Sarah Hart, who is originally from Minnesota and is joining us after playing her freshman year at St. Bonaventure. And she has a really high skill level, pass, dribble, shoot. Um, they've been great. They're bought in, they work hard, they've, um, they've just shown a lot to us early and we're excited about that and yet there's always a transition in just learning our style and our system of play. Um, but so far it's been a really exciting group. You know, the Gleek is a top conference, Division II conference in the country, and one of our mentalities is we want to play the best and see what that looks like, and we'll have that opportunity this year. The, the teams in the league are really good. Um, our travel looks a little different this year. We're on the road more than we were last season, um, but that's the reality of playing college basketball. You've got to play home games and you've got to play away games, and I'm excited because we're going to be playing against really good teams. I once heard a coach say that, you know, the way you schedule is what you believe about your team. And obviously that's very ambitious. Playing Ohio State and UConn are exhibition games. So for us, it's a win-win. It's great experience. Um, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, we're gonna go play the best. And, and UConn's the best, almost any sport, any gender, they've been the best. And so let's go see what that looks like. Let's go see what that experience feels like. Uh, and it'll be uh, obviously great tests going into the season. and. Um, we're excited about those opportunities. And then our non-conference schedule is really good too. We're playing against top teams. We're playing Lubbock Christian in the uh, tournament down in San Antonio, Texas, and they were the national champions the season before. Um, so we're gonna have a good pulse on where we are and, and what we're about, and, and we'll get a good feel for things we need to improve on going into conference play. Well, our fans are incredible. We feel like that's a, a big separator for us in our program, just the amount of support we have. And that was very evident last year through our whole tournament run. And then we were fortunate to have the Elite Eight in Columbus and, and our fans to be part of that whole experience. Uh, you know, my hope is that when they watch our team play, they see something special, that we play together and we play hard. We care about each other and we do things for the right reasons. You know, that's, that's our hope in the way we play. And we hope that can be evidenced by, by people in the stands.